Hello and welcome to Okuma. My name is Jochen Ondra. I'm the product specialist for multitasking machines and laces. Today I'm going to introduce our Multispeed 250 together with our Armroid automation system. The machine itself is our Multispeed 250 package machine. This machine is equipped with a 40 tool ATC and it has a 10 inch chuck on the main spindle. We have a 20 bar coolant unit with the machine and we have our manual touch setter to measure the tools in the standard package machine. Additionally, now on this machine, we have our Armroid automation system, which contains of our robot arm, which is located inside the machine. And we have the magazine right behind me. There we have six docker tables to store material, which can be raw and finished parts. As the Armroid system is located inside the machine, it can have also additional functionalities. For this, we have an end effector stocker right behind me, where we can store three tools in total. One is the gripper hand, which will load and unload the parts, and which can also turn the parts around for a second side operation. The second tool is a coolant and airflow nozzle, which can improve the chip removal during machining. As the coolant and airflow nozzle can move parallel to the upper turret and remove the chips and improve the coolant situation on the tool. The third tool we have there is a support roller, which is used for long shafts, which intend to chatter during machining. And this roller can support the part and prevent chatters similar to a steady rest. The arm rod itself has 10 kilograms of payload. And in this machine, as we have a tailstock machine, we can use it for shaft machining. We can turn shafts around with the part to our first and second side operation, as well as chuck parts, which we can also turn around for the second side operation. After we turn the part around, sometimes it's necessary to identify the C-axis position and orientate the part. For this, we have our C-axis torque strip function on the machine. Here we use a self-made tool with a ball and we indicate the position just by moving it against the axis load and the control can identify the C-axis position of the part and we can set the C-axis offset accordingly. Mm -hmm. 